Hey guys, so it's rumbling again in Campi Fligri. Does that come as a surprise for me? No, it doesn't. Unfortunately, I was expecting this. I mean, we've heard that the last weekly bulletin, they said the INGV, the Vesuvius Observatory and the Italian Institute for Geophysics and Volcanology and the the guy who basically is in charge of this institute, he basically said, yeah, the indications look like that the Brady seism that is happening at Campi Flickeri, that land rise that comes with all these earthquakes is slowing down and that the land is even subsiding. So remember, for months now, it has been steadily rising with first with one centimeter per month and then with two centimeters per month since April. And this is now really, I find this a little bit tragic what is happening right now because the land has been rising. It's a sign that there's magma on the rise. Something's on the rise. Something's filling up if land is rising. Imagine you have a land surface and you're blowing up a balloon underneath or like your blanket and you blow up a balloon underneath. The blanket is the crust, right? It lifts it up. And we know this has happened in the 80s. There it was probably a magma intrusion. Magma was on the way, but it didn't make it to the top. It was stopped by a by the top, by the caprock layer. But since then, that caprock layer has only a third of its strength left. And now these earthquake swarms that we've seen recently, they're really intense. I mean, look at the last one. I believe it was from August 14th till till just a few days ago, constantly, every day. And now today we have another 3.7. That is high for a volcano. And it came, if you look at the list here, it was not a single isolated incident. First a 1.3, then a 3.7, then a 2.0, and then a 1.0. These are only the ones that are above magnitude 1. There's probably way more in the smaller scales. So here is the epicenter. You see it's basically around Pischiarelli, and it's near the Solfatara. That's the most active crater that Campi Flegri has right now. Campi Flegri stretches around an area of around 100 kilometer, guys, and even in the Gulf of Pozzuoli. So, but the Solfatara, that is active, and most of the earthquakes that we see are centered right on top or around that crater, which of course greatly affects Pozzuoli, that fishing town that is basically right there and is growing into these craters. They have built right on these craters. So something is still on the move so that they were hoping all we think that the land might be subsiding. They weren't sure. They said we need to wait the coming weeks if our data are really right. Because if they looked at the geochemical processes, every still everything still looked active and that something's going on there. Because they thought, oh, okay, that August 25th, the long earthquake swarm ended and they thought it's cooling down it's not coming down. I mean, now, boof, it brings us a 3.7 that could be felt in Naples. And this one did scare the people again. And people were running out on the streets. They were scared. They didn't know what was happening. Is now a volcano erupting? Yes or no? And we know the authorities seem to downplay that a little bit. But I have a very concerning statement from the leader of the Vesuvius Observatory and the INGV. I'll get to that in a minute, so stay tuned. But I want to give you some other information up front first. But what he said, you don't even have to read much between the lines. It is concerning, guys. This Campi Flegri is definitely doing something. And then of course, 3.7, you see here how that scale is, how the magnitude was. And that was happening at uh, in the evening in Naples, in Pozzuoli, in this area. So it was already dark. So the earthquake occurred at a approximate depth of 2 kilometers, so very shallow. And we know since a few months ago, a groundbreaking study has confirmed a magma chamber at a depth of only four to four and a half, 
five kilometers at max, not like they thought before, eight to 12 kilometers. So the magma doesn't need that much to get to the surface. That's what's so concerning. And one of my viewers, she asked me, my granddaughter is going to Naples. That's her first vacation alone. Should I say something? This is really hard. If it was me, yeah, I would say something. But of course, it can completely ruin your vacation because if you tell them, well, if you're in Naples and the volcano erupts, you're doomed. So is there the slightest tremor? Pack your bags and leave. It's not nice, but you know, I think we have to be realistic. And that's why I said, wait till the end, what the director of the Vesuvius Observatory says. So it seems right now, there have been no requests for assistance to the Naples Fire Department. So it seems not too many damages or any injuries or something. So definitely the INGV made a statement, seismic swarm underway, right? They said 9.16 p.m. local time on August 30th, um, seismic swarm is underway in the Campi Flegri area. Magnitude 3.7 plus minus 0 0.3. And they have also released another map where you can see really that blue star that is where the earthquake is. And you can see it's basically between Pozzoli and Bagnoli. And if you go a little bit further east, there's Naples. This area, it's more than 3 million people. That's why this is so shocking. And look at this map here, where you see all the, the latest earthquakes and the bigger the circle, the bigger the earthquake. And then you see these rings. That's basically where the Solfatara is, where Pozzuoli is. But you also see there have been larger earthquakes in the water. And we know the water is even worse because it could send a tsunami 100 feet high waves, 30 meter waves. So right now, People are frightened again. Many people went on the streets out of their buildings, afraid because the buildings might collapse. And of course, they thought it's okay. Maybe it has slowed down. And then such a strong tremor that could even be felt in Naples. And it was clearly felt in Pozzoli again. And we know these quakes, it was a horizontal shaking again, and they come with a really scary sound, like a rocket approaching and then landing, like a roar, how the Italians call it. So when they released that weekly bulletin for the week of August 19th to 25th, they were so hoping that the indicators that were indicating the ground uplift speed were right, that the uplift is slowing down and that it's subsiding. So that means we could have hoped for a moment, maybe the long earthquake swarm that ended on the 25th, maybe that rumbling was a sign for magma on the roof, move grinding its way somewhere and then ending in an intrusion like in the 1980s right like we had in Iceland last November 10th there was a huge amount of magma sent out of an overfull magma chamber but it didn't make it to the top but magma was spreading out somewhere so but it seems magma still is doing something it's still rising to the top if you look at this earthquake swarm. So I don't think this is just a normal release of tension of anything. This is the same thing that has happened over the last few months, a big earthquake surrounded by these other earthquakes. And in the last swarm, we had many earthquakes in the twos and now a 3.7 followed directly by another two. And plus that these geochemical data still show not only activity, they're saying intense activity. So what officially in the Italian newspapers right now, the scientists are reporting is now we will have to understand how to interpret today's 
earthquake of magnitude 3.7. So they're scratching their heads, it seems. So let's get to Mauro Di Vito. He's the director of the Vesuvius Observatory and the National Institute of Geochemics and Volcanology in Italy. And he recently commented on these tremors that have been affecting Naples and Campi Flegre. And basically he said, yeah, these tremors were expected due to the accumulation of stress in the area's soil, a phenomenon that often occurs in regions with volcanic activity like Campi Flegre. Yes, we know that. So he further explained that Campi Flegre has a long history of volcanic and seismic activity. And we know right now, the officials, the governments, they're only talking about the seismic activity. They say, ah, oh, we have to upgrade buildings, yada, yada. And on the other hand, some scientists are warning you have to prepare for the worst case because even a small eruption can be devastating, right? So what he's saying, the recent increase in the frequency and the intensity of the tremors, because that is something that we've noticed. The land is rising and the earthquakes are getting more, but also in the higher ranges. So how does he explain this? He says, that's a sign of ongoing accumulation of energy underground. And take these words. The ones who are watching my videos about Iceland, you know what it means if something accumulates underground and that it, if the magma chamber is full, has reached maximum elasticity, it sends out the magma. So he is telling us it something is accumulating underground. This is not some tectonic movement or relation of, release of tension. It is accumulating, guys. That's why I said we don't even have to read between the words. We just have to take his words seriously. So that means magma is accumulating, right? And now he says this stress, and he says it, right? is due to the rise of magma and gases in the volcanic system, which can cause soil deformation and consequently seismic tremors. And he only says seismic tremors, but we know what the accumulation of magma also can cause volcanic eruptions. But he, he goes on. Well, maybe I'll tell you first his whole interview. So he says, of course, that's what they always says. Now here comes the standard sentence, right? The INGV continues to closely monitor the situation. Yeah, we'll monitor it. You can feel safe. Oopsie, no, right? I would not feel safe if I lived there. And then Mauro Di Vito reassured that while concerning, yes, it is concerning, and he calls it concerning, take his words. This type of activity falls within a framework that is constantly being monitored by experts. So I have a feeling whenever it gets critical and they don't know what it means, but it's dangerous, they're always saying, yeah, but we're monitoring it very, very closely, right? And then he says, and this is the sentence that I really want you to take in and look a little bit behind it. He says, however, it is not possible to precisely predict if and when a more significant eruption or seismic event might occur. Here he said it and he even named the eruption first. So what do you make of this, guys? He's not saying, oh, these are just earthquakes and, you know, it's a problem for the communities and the buildings might be damaged and we got to do damage assessment and we got to come up with more money to seismically prepare these buildings like they did in the past. He is getting more serious about this. He's more naming 
the problem. And we know that they were trying to kind of like wishy-washy how we say that because tourism is at risk if you say that out loud too much. And of course, real estate values. But again, he says it is not possible to precisely predict if and when a more significant eruption or seismic event might occur. So that tells us it can occur and they do not rule this out and they're saying it, right? Because if they don't say it and it happens, then they have a big problem. So I find this overly concerning, guys, what he says. It is overly concerning, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I do not feel good with this. And I really expect that we will see the next swarm pretty soon. Or maybe this swarm will continue because this just happened, basically. So we will have to see how long it lasts this time. And if we will see more higher ones again. But I am worried, especially since we know that magma chamber is very shallow. And the last earthquake swarm was very shallow. Sometimes they said at depth, the earthquake zero or one kilometer. So very, very shallow. Now something's rumbling at two kilometers depth. Is this thing grinding towards a weak caprock layer? A very weakened caprock layer. That is what my concern is. And it's hard to take in because we humans usually have the tendency, and I have that too. Well, it's Italy. You can't have a volcano erupt in the middle of like Pozzuoli, Naples. No way. I can't imagine that. But I think we have to start imagining this, guys. So I'll be up to date with this. I'll keep you updated, guys. Stay safe wherever you are, and I hope to see you very, very soon. If you want to know more behind the scenes, if you want to know why my face is swollen, become a member of my channel. I'll tell you there. Um, I'm going to release that video shortly, or maybe I already have released it while we're talking. So join me there, um, and thanks for supporting this channel on my Buy Me A Coffee site or through the supers. It means a lot, and it helps a lot. Thank you, guys. I see you soon. Bye-bye.